What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we won the first badge out of the Kalos region. Yes, the Bug Badge. And we also got the experience here, so it's going to be easier for us to actually just train our Pokemon, get ready for, you know, what's next. Now, here's a fun fact. We won't be seeing the second gym battle for a... Well, for quite some time. Yeah, normally we go into the next town and then BAM! Second gym badge. But it's going to take a while for us in order to get to the second gym badge. So, it is time to move on right here, guys. Now I'm going to burp right now. <clears throat> Thank you. Excuse me. Here we have a Route 4, and now we're going to be able to see some pretty cool Pokemon right here. Now, I think you guys already get the idea of what my Pokemon team will be. So, I'm just going to see if I can find it right here. Now, we're going into yellow and pink kinds of flowers. You'll be, a bit, you'll, you'll be finding Flababy right here. Different kinds of colors of Flababy. And, well, believe it or not, guys, I'm going to be capturing all these Pokemon off screen. There's no need for me to actually just do it right now. And then, uh, well, I do get, or I do have roller blades too, so it makes it slow for us to get here. Now, here we have a male combi. Don't want to capture that guy. Remember, guys, male combis cannot evolve. And, well, let's go with a uh, run right here. Alrighty, so, in this episode right here, we're going to be going straight to Lumioi Town, or Lumio City, and... Along the way, we're going to be battling some Pokemon trainers, too. We will be getting our next team member right here in this area. That's why I'm stepping on the grass every so often right here, guys. And here we have a Badoo. Another Pokemon that I'm targeting. And I'm going to run away. Run away, little Pikachu. Run away. Okay, now, I also mentioned in a few episodes of uh, Omega Ruby and all that stuff that, yeah, I will be doing an all-star cast onto this game. Um, All-Star cast being in different generations. Since this, this is Generation 6, now we, are in a, now we are enabled to actually get six different kinds of Pokemon from six different generations and all that stuff. So that is basically the plan right here. And many of you guys already can already see that I have one from Kar one Pokemon, or two Pokemon from Kalos, and one from Jotes, or one from P uh, Kanto. Again, they're just temporary Pokemon. Don't worry, guys. I haven't forgotten anything now. I'm just going to be grabbing some items right here. See what we can do. We found ourselves two repels. That's pretty good. Very, very good. And, well, let's see. Anything else? Nope, just stepping on the on the flowers. Even though these flowers are like... These flowers must be like super strong for people to just step on them and all that stuff. And bam! Would you look at that, guys. We found ourselves the next Pokemon on our team. Oh, damn. <laughs> we got a male Ralts. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Male Ralts. Yeah. No, that's not what's going to happen right here, guys. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to run away right here because I'm looking for a female Ralts. Not a male Ralts. Female. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and find this female. I already had my chance right there, and, well, this is a Flabebe right now. Oh, God. Anywho, let me go ahead and talk to you guys for just a little bit while I try to find a Pokemon and battle everybody here in the process and all that stuff. So yes, turning 30 guys, 30-30, and this is my 10th year on on uh, well, on my uh, on YouTube and all that stuff. And to be quite honest guys, it's been quite a ride, uh, what was it, ups and downs and all that stuff, and yeah. Never thought that I would see 30 on YouTube. <laughs> Many of you guys are probably still calling me old man and all that stuff too, but no, I don't feel old man. I don't feel old. I'm just happy to be entertaining every single one of you guys as, you know, that's kind of like a hobby right here. I guess that's what everybody does on YouTube and all that stuff. And, you know, this couldn't have all happened without you guys. I mean, you guys have been supportive of every single thing that I've done. You guys have your opinions and all that stuff, which I take into consideration. Fun, fun time, guys, and, well, if you guys are wondering what I'm going to do for my birthday, to be honest, I just want to eat. That's it. I mean, you guys already know, personal trainer, pretty much live in the gym. Yeah. I think it's a, I think it's a good day for a cheat day, right? Wouldn't you think, Aaliyah? I think so. And yes, my niece, my niece will be uh, there with me, so don't worry, guys, we will be celebrating together with my little, uh, 
my little niece, and we're gonna be grabbing this, the antidote. I did ask my niece if she wanted to do like another episode with me. It's gonna be a while. She is a busy little one. I'm warning you, youngster. My core fish here has some sharp pincers. Pincers, eh? So here we go. Gardner Wheaton wants the battle, and he's coming with his core fish. And luckily for me, I actually have the right hook for this part right here. Look at that, Delia. Looking like a beast. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's go. Thundershock. Somewhat for the win, and Corefish, you've been defeated. Okay, now I need to know where to capture this Corefish. And Fireblade grows to level 11. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have the experience share, so now everybody's just growing. I'm happy about that. And here I am still trying to find a female Ralt right here. So yes, guys, you guys already know. The next Pokemon on our team is female Ralt. And, oh, hold on. I am not going to let this pass by, guys. It's a female combi. You know how rare these Pokemon are. Very, very rare. And I'm going to try and capture this, this Pokemon right here because, holy crap, it is a very rare Pokemon. Okay, so let's go right ahead and throw a, uh, let's see, a, a Great Ball right here. Come on. Look at that. So, female combi. Not part of our team, but... Definitely a rare Pokemon that I want to capture. Bam! Look at that. Got ourselves a female combi! Alright. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. So here it is. Female combi. Bug and flying type Pokemon. The trio is together from birth. It constantly gathers honey from flowers to please Vespa Queen. And, well, I'm not going to nickname it anything. But it is a rare Pokemon in this area right here guys so now that that's taken care of let's go ahead and try and find uh, the Ralts that we've been trying to find and no we're looking at Flabebe again Shoot. now another thing too guys I mentioned this in the very first episode too but these first 10 episodes that I'm recording actually in po or actually Pokemon X is the first walkthrough to be recorded right here on my new laptop uh, had an old laptop had it for three years uh, had it for three years, yes, but it was uh, up there in age, I guess it was like 2015, so that, like, believe it or not, five years on the laptop is pretty much old, but this one right here is up to date, 2020, and it is working perfectly, especially for my, uh, my KitKat Slim and all that stuff, so, yeah, we're doing, a, we're, we're doing a, a heck of a job, and I hope you guys are enjoying the quality of this, now, I remember in episode three, I completely forgot about, uh, my, uh, my microphone settings and that's because again when you're recording on a laptop that you've had for quite some time it usually take like you, you you already have it to your settings and all that. this new laptop right off the bat I'm recording stuff so technically speaking I don't I still don't have it up to the settings that I need I need it to be so let's see look at that that is beautiful right there guys very, very beautiful. So, let's go ahead and start battling some people right here. We're going to be skating around. And, well, actually the Pokemon that I need is not Vespa Queen, but Kakashi Hitake. Because it's at level 15, it will be growing into its next form, and god dang. You see, I'm faster than everybody right here. I love Pokemon battles. But they're even better if I didn't stop skating. Oh. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty. So let's get this. Bam. She's coming out with uh, her, her fire blade. So here we go with Kakashi Hitake. And let's go straight for the water pulse right here. Bam. And, uh, well, it's still not a water type, or still not a fire type Pokemon, but it did get confused. And, well, it's going to use Growl. So I need its death one right there. So let's go with a quick attack. Let's go, Kakashi Hitake, for the win! And there goes the Fletchling. Defeated. And Kalida has been defeated. Alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so let's see, what's the next thing that we need to do right here? Like, skate over this guy right here. This guy is just like skating. God dang it. Okay, so this is kind of like, uh, what was it? <laughs> oh damn, what the hell is happening? Oh yeah. You should, you should have loved the lagging. This is the first time it's lagged. 
And this guy right here, come on, man! I battle just like I skate. Non-stop victory, the only way for me. Whatever you say, homeboy. Okay, let's go, Roland. I, I love the fact that like most of these trainers have the name and description to like what they're doing. Wheaton. Wheaton is uh, the gardener. Roland. He's rolling in the skater or in his skates. It's pretty fun. Very, very fun. Here we go. Water. Uh, water bowls. It does it. Takes care of Pidgey. No more Pidgey. Alrighty. And Combi grows to level eight without even doing anything, thanks to the experience ship. Alrighty. So let's see, we, that, we, take, we took care of that situation, so let's go straight for the grass again and see if we can actually find a female Ralt. And, well, here's another thing too, guys. Let's see, one of these parts. I think it's this one right here. Yes, we found ourselves a honey. Honey. Alrighty. And is there anything else? Right here? No, nothing. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go into the flowers again and... See if we can actually find that female Rods, because we need her! And, nope, we're just going to be finding a lot of male uh, Kobe's. Yeah, don't need it right now. Now, forgot to mention, the background right here, guys, almost, well, it is reminiscent of my old X walkthrough. Remember when I had it in Japanese? It was, it's very, very reminiscent and all that stuff. I, to be honest, I actually modeled, well, not modeled it, but it still had the old files to my old uh, background from the X walkthrough that I did before. And, yeah, I, well, I, I was kind of, I, I was kind of feeling lazy, plus I kind of needed to do this whole thing quick. So that's the reason why, you know, we still have, or it's reminiscent to the old background right here. Now, the other thing too, guys, is the thumbnail as well. Thumbnail kind of represents what, like, uh, it, it's pretty much the same thing as the old X walkthrough. Now, for those who are new, back when I was driving XC711, there were probably two or three games that I actually played in Japanese, and that was Omega Ruby and X. And when I was about to end, or when I ended my tenure right here with uh, Draven XC711, I was at Pokemon Y, and it was all in uh, English. And that was when I got the Kick at Slim and into our viewer and all that stuff and hello Ralts! Okay, please, female, 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 come on. It's a female! Alrighty. Okay. Do not defeat it, Aaliyah. If you defeat it, I swear to God, I will be mad for you for like five minutes. And oh my god! Woo! Oh my god, it almost it almost made it faint. Okay, so let's go guys. The next Pokemon on our team. That's right, guys. Ralts. And, well. Bam. Yes, sir. Okay. Look at that, guys. Now, if you guys did see Pokemon, uh, my old Pokemon X walkthrough, it's almost similar to the team that we have. It's a generational thing. So here it is, guys. Ralts, the feeling Pokemon, both psychic and fairy type Pokemon now. If it's uh, horn, or if it's horns capture the warm feelings of people or Pokemon, its, it's body warms up slightly. Very good Pokemon. And yes, guys, we're gonna be giving it a nickname. And since this is the third Gaia on our team, let's go ahead and call it Gaia Three. Oh wait, wait, wait. Gaia. Uh, there we go. Gaia number three. Okay, so we're okay. We're, we're, okay, there we go. Right there. Okay, so Gaia three. Oh crap! I'm thinking. God dang it! These controllers. <laughs> Two and three. Okay, so here we go. Gaia number three is on our team. Now this is probably like the third, the third time that I've gotten a Gaia here. Now, if I hadn't played Pokemon uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha and Sapphire, this would have been so much more different. But it is what it is, guys. So here it is, Gaia number three, Psychic and Fairy type Pokemon. Believe it or not, guys, in Generation Six, this is when they when they introduce the Fairy type Pokemon, and this is where you know Gardevoir becomes a very very powerful Pokemon to have on your team. As you can see, it has a Trace technique. And it does have two moves, Growl and Confusion. So it takes the, the, the work out of, like off your hands right there. And it, well, first things first, the stats. Pretty nice. Very, very good. Eventually become a tank of a Pokemon. It does have serious nature. 
And yes, as I'm recording this episode, it is the 7th of July. So, let's go right ahead and start testing out our new Pokemon, Gaia. So that's a Pokemon right there for, uh, what was it? That is a Pokemon right there for Pokemon or Generation... I think it's Generation, whatchamacallit, uh... Generation 3, so yeah, we got three Pokemon in three generations, and well, let's see, actually I don't need to kill a Pokemon anymore, so let's go right ahead and move on right here, let's see, oh yeah, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon, so let's go, right here, yeah, and let's uh, go right here, battling everybody, I love my Pokemon, I love my Pokemon, Oh yeah, she loves her Pokemon, I guess. So here we go, a fan, a Pokefan Agnes, and she's coming over with a Burmy right here, a bug type Pokemon. Try capturing those Pokemon three times. And let's go Gaia 3 using its uh, trace. And good thing now, it does have confusion, so we don't have to struggle with like trying to battle or trying to get it to confuse or something like that. And of course, there's that, uh, whatchamacallit, the protect attack. But here we go, confusion. Takes a nice chunk, and it is confused. Yes, sir. Let's go right ahead and use another confusion right here. And there we go. Giving us some extra time to actually hit hurt herself. And look at that. Almost getting defeated. Let's try it one more time with the confusion. But here comes that super potion. So we're going to have to really work for this one right here. Come on. Oh, jeez. Come on. Let's go. Confusion attack. And, ah, damn it. This Burmy will not go down. So, let's go, Gaia. Finish you. And, god dang it. Protect attack. You gotta love protect. Okay. Let's go again. God dang it, just let us hit you. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, we're gonna really... Oh, come on! This is getting annoying. Very, very annoying. Let's do it again. Finish him! Die, you freaking Burmy. Die. And, well, there we go with some experience points. Kakashi grows to level 16. Fire Blade at level 12. And everybody else in between. And here she's coming out with a Burmy. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take care of the situation with a little bit of a Fire Blade. Alrighty. Fire Blade ready to destroy. Look at that. Fire Blade looking pretty awesome. And another form of Burmy. Huh. They're pretty big on different forms right here. So here we go, Peg Attack. Nearly takes out Burmy, and here comes that tackle attack that we don't like. So let's try it one more time. Peg Attack for the win. Yes, sir. Number Burmy. Number Burmy. Number Burmy. And look at that, Combi. Growing level, whatever, and Aaliyah's growing levels too. And we're gonna take care of this with Fireblade right here. And that's a third form of uh, Burmy right there, so that's pretty cool. And look at that, nearly takes out Burmy. And another tackle attack. Oh, pretty good, pretty awesome, pretty great. Look at that. Say goodbye. All right, okay. And, well, no more Agnes, and, well, that's, that's that right there, so, finally! Now, normally I would evolve my starter Pokemon from, uh, at the first gym. That's kind of like, uh, somewhat of a, of a tradition for me, but right here, eh, not so much, because I chose a Water-type Pokemon, and, but, eh, yeah, it had Bug-type Pokemon at the gym, I didn't really train my Pokemon outside afterwards, so. Here it is, guys. The next stage to Kakashi. Say hello to Frogadier. Frogadier. That's right, Frogadier. I think that's what his name. I don't know. I really don't care right now. So, let's go right ahead and see what Kakashi's got. Frogadier. It's still a water type Pokemon, but its stats went through the roof right there. So, that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. And, well, let's continue on. Now that we got our female uh, Ralt, now we're just going to be battling everybody that we see right here. But before that, let's go ahead and grab items too. Free items are always awesome, and look at that. We got ourselves a Poison Barb. Poison Barb. Barbara. Barbara Bush. Alright. Who remembers that Simpsons episode? 
where Homer fights uh, President Bush. But Barb, George, I remember that episode. <laughs> It's probably one of my favorite episodes because I see Homer Simpson just beating, beating up the president, and then the president's trying to choke him out, which is funny. That's so freaking funny. And then at the end, uh, Gerald Ford happens to be a somewhat like a clone of the Homer Simpson, which is pretty hilarious too. So here we go, confusion attack, and it nearly takes him out. Magikarp is looking all well. It's looking like a Magikarp. Look at that. It's still fast, but it's confused, hurting itself. And here we go, confusion attack. Easy battle for Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. Look at that. Alrighty, okay. Adrian has been defeated. Splish, splash, 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 splash. That's right. Okay. So who's next? Uh, we've already defeated these people right here. I think we've already took on her, right? No, we didn't. Okay, hey, hey, listen, I'm going to win this battle. You think so, okay. So here we go, preschooler Maya wants the battle, or Mia, and she's coming out with her Badoo. And that's a big plus for us because it is a poison type Pokemon, I think. And so, let's go right ahead and use a confusion attack. But it's not to us. And, well, let's go wait for this one. Yeah, okay, so let's go right ahead and do another confusion attack and. Of course, it's going to be using Absorb, killing itself every single goddamn time, and making it a little difficult for us right there. So, here we go again. Come on, Gaia, you can do it. And, doing, I don't know why it did that. Could have absorbed again, but no. Didn't want to. I don't, I don't think so. And here we go. We defeated Badoo. Badoo's defeated, and look at that. We grow our first level with Gaia 3. And Combi growing levels because it's not doing anything at all. Pretty awesome. Alrighty. So that's another Pokemon trainer down. Let's go right ahead and try out our new Pokemon, Kakashi Hitake. And well, we kind of want to finish this episode a little quicker. And well, let's see. I'm just checking out for items right here, guys. Let's see. Oh, well, I, I see what's going on right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle this guy. I can tell by the book, uh, or by the look of your face that you're just in love with Pokemon. Okay. Here we go. Pokefan Gabe wants to battle, and he's coming out with his Pichu right here. Good gravy. I think I might have a Pichu on my Pichu. I don't know. Thanks to the Pokemon Bank. And, well, Water Pulse. Even though it might not be super effective, keeps us away from that static technique right there. And look at that. It's just a baby Pokemon, but still. Throw him in a Pokemon, Pokemon battle, it will get beaten. And here he comes out with a Pikachu. So let's go with our own Pikachu. Let's have our very self, our, 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 our very own Pikachu stand up right here. Female Pikachu. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, here we go. Let's get this. Quick attack. And I don't know why you did that. To play nice, right? I think. And here we go again with another quick attack. And does it. And we didn't get affected by static. Oh, that's awesome! That is gravy. And look at that. Fire Blade grows to level 13 and it's trying to learn agility. Yeah, let's go ahead and take away Growl. I would love to have Fire Blade on my team for a little longer, but. Yeah, I already picked the team. I already did. Okay, so we can't go there just yet. We kind of need to beat these guys right here. We're almost done with this episode. So let's go right ahead and switch to Aaliyah. Don't worry, everybody's getting experience. You know, it's very simple now. And we're going to wait for this guy because he does have a core fish. Behold, these glorious moves that have been honed and perfected in the garden. New York Square? Madison Square Garden? I don't know. Okay, so he comes out with a gourd fish. This Pokemon right here. This Pokemon has always intrigued me because Ash had it. It was just pretty cool. And then it, it eventually evolves into a dark and water type Pokemon. Just, you know, not really strong though. And look at that. Level 13, Aaliyah. 
And she's trying to learn Thunder Wave. So let's go ahead and take away... Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and take away Growl. Play Nice is basically the same thing. And there we go. And Kobe growing, <laughs> growing levels. That's awesome! Okay, alrighty. Let's move on right here. And there's an item waiting for us. And there's a few people waiting for us right there. And look at that. We found ourselves an ether. Very useful for our Pokemon moves right there. And, well, let's move on right here. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and... I don't know. Let's see. We're going to be going up here battling one more trainer. Same court fish and all that stuff. And here he is. The Patir Way is famous for these Hedge Grove Gardens. If you can defeat me, I'll tell you their official name is. What their official name is, I should say. Okay, here we go. You are challenged by Gardener Grover. And he's coming out with a Corfish. Corfish, Corfish. Alrighty, so let's go, Aaliyah. Let's get this. So, let's go a Thunder Shock right here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. Look at that. Alright. Look at that. And everything else is cool. No more gardeners. And I think we defeated everybody right there. So, it's also pretty awesome right there. And look at that. A netball. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Alrighty. So, that is the end of that right there. And, well. I'm trying to, like, maneuver myself through this place right here. Uh, before I do anything, let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon. I'm getting text messages up the butt, you know. Good God. Okay, so let's go up forward right here. And once you get up here, you'll see these two individuals. Hello there! Have you ever heard of a Pokemon called Flabebe? Yeah? Oh, I see! It's a registered in your Pokedex. That's what I would expect from one of the professor's hand-picked per uh, Pokemon trainers. Flabebe is now, is now braced yourself, a Fairy-type Pokemon. Really? Fairy-type Pokemon. Fairy-type is a... what the hell? Fairy-type is a new type of Pokemon. This turned into an entire matchup system on its head. What the hell? And we've been battling Fairy-type Pokemon against each other uh, of Pokemon at Professor Sycamore's request. My name is Cena. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. I'm Dexio. Two years ago, Professor Sycamore interested me with a Pokedex. You could call me a Pokemon Voyage Veteran. If you'd like, I'd show you the way to the lab. So come along now! Sure. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's get this show on the road. Hmm. Okay, alrighty. Um, yeah. So that was interesting right there. We're gonna stop right here, guys, because in the next episode, it's gonna be nice and short. Um, it's gonna be an introduction to my birthday. And what a better way to start my birthday off than to get ourselves our all-time favorite Pokemon. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. So, thank you guys again for watching this episode. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, July 11th, my birthday. Yes. We're going to be going through more adventures right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.